I'm sure that you already recognize me from the picture, but it would be rude not to introduce myself. So hello, I am a Doberman. In comparison with my American Doberman pincher cousins, who are refined sleek dogs who have elegant long necks that rise sharply at the shoulder, me and my European brothers are larger, broader, more muscular with shorter and thicker bone structure. Even though you would know a Doberman when you see it, no matter from which continent, the differences are very obvious when we stand side by side. Not only physically, but also when it comes to temperament. I enjoy having a meaningful task working spending my high stamina no matter how unusual my surrounding is, while American Dobies are a bit calmer, with slightly fewer exercise requirements. Now, having that settled, the question is why are you here? You think you can handle my brothers and sisters? First, you need to understand us a bit better. I will try and do my best to tell you our story so that you can decide for yourselves. Let us start from the very beginning. We are a fairly new breed and the story of our origin in the early 1880s is a really interesting one. Back in the days, job of the tax collector was dangerous and often meant going through some thug infested places with bags full of coin. However, one tax collector, named Carl Friedrich Louis Doberman, figured out that he needs a dog to help him. First he thought of ideal traits that he wanted, and then embarked on a journey of finding just the right breeds to combine. His goal was to create dog with intelligence, ferocity, strength and absolute loyalty. No one knows all the breeds that were used in the process of making the perfect dog, but it is believed that some of them include the Great Dane for the speed, Rottweiler for the size and Terrier for the heart and drive. I and my brethren are born to protect and we are revered as one of the world's most lethal protection dogs. Our extraordinary loyalty is legendary. We would not hesitate to go through fire to get to you. It was not long before we overcame our original tax collecting job. Now we have a lot in our breed's CV. Police dogs, scent tracking, search and rescue, diving all the way to guiding the blind and therapy dogs. Last but definitely not least, we are loving family members. Besides unconditional love we provide our humans the utmost security. Without false modesty, we are a very high level IQ dogs with amazing athleticism, endurance and high training threshold. But be aware that our intelligence means challenge to our humans. If you want to avoid certain mischief you should never let us become bored. Furthermore, we will outsmart you if you give us the slightest chance, so never underestimate us. We recognize only our master as one and true authority. So my advice to you would definitely be to take the attitude of a leader since day one with your new Dobie pup. Instead of using harsh punishments, the better approach is to start with a set routine and obedience training as early as 8 to 9 weeks of age. We are cute and cuddly with our family members, but still you have to have in mind that we do grow into strong and fearless dogs. Also, we can run. And I mean really run, up to breathtaking 45 miles per hour. That combined with our efficient swimming abilities means that there is no chance to outrun a doby in pursuit. It is like having a fully trained personal bodyguard that will make sure that there are no uninvited guests on your premises. Now that you know some interesting facts about us, and if you want to call yourself a Doby owner, I have one last piece of advice for you. While it is good to decide which Doberman variant better fits your lifestyle, the individual dog with its temperamental characteristic is far more important. No matter which type you chose, American or European, I can promise you that with a proper care, you will get an incredibly intelligent, loving and caring canine friend. Thanks for watching the video. We will see you guys next time.